Hello everyone, a warm welcome to today's section. I am so, so happy to invite all of you over there around the world to witness this year's World Education Week. In fact, we over here at Best Intellectual Model School warmly welcome you to this event. For us to begin this event, we would like to invite everyone to watch this brief introductory video for you to learn more about the World Education Week and some of the global partners that are also hosting this live event as well. So stick around and watch this video.
Um, please, can someone notify me to know whether that was the video showing? I believe that the video showed. If not, we will also try our best to um, play the video at the end, towards the end of this uh, amazing session. All right, so welcome everyone to World Education Week. Over 100 schools around the globe will be celebrating um, their expertise, and 20 organizations will also be celebrating theirs as well. So what is World Education Week? Why are we celebrating? What do we have for you today? What are we at Best Intellectual Model School celebrating? All of these are many more you are going to learn in today's section. Uh, someone said no, that he didn't see the video. All right, no worries, we will see that stream the video back later. So um, I like everyone who would like to um, introduce someone. But before we introduce this person, we would like to remind everyone of our official hashtag. That is hashtag World Aid Week. So on the whole social media uh, channels, this hashtag it's been trending like since um, two to three weeks ago. So it's been trending live, hashtag World Aid Week. So that's our official hashtag. So make sure that you tell people on Facebook that you attended the World Aid Week, the World Education Week live event. Use the hashtag World Aid Week and we'll get and we'll see you from there. So we are going to be introducing our first speaker. Mrs. Happiness Carlo. She's the head teacher of Best Intellectual Model School and she has been an amazing person who has geared up or who has made this event happen today. She has been the one that has led the intellectual constars, which she'll be discussing. She would like to tell us more about that and so many other things. So here with me is Mrs. Happiness Carlo. Mrs. Happiness Carlo, you're welcome to today's session. Thank you so much. Hello everyone. Like you heard, my name is Mrs. Happiness Carlo. I am the head teacher of Best Intellectuals Models to Abia State, Nigeria. Listen to my expertise, our school expertise, especially during the lockdown or during the pandemic. My school, Best Intellectuals Model School, developed a creative approach that is geared towards solving the problem of SDG 4. What made us develop this expertise was as we all know, schools were the worst hit during the pandemic because for almost a year, schools were under lock and key. That made the uh, environment not favorable because many of our youths resorted to many vices like rape, theft, it is. I, being the head teacher of Best Intellectual Model School, thought of a solution that will address this problem and at the same time make our youth feel belong academically because those of them in the rural area had no devices to join online classes, like their counterparts in the cities and those in developed countries. So this uh, solution came when I discovered the school enterprise challenge that helped me to organize some children from my school and work with them as they shoot music videos that addresses the present day happenings and at the same time made them happy while observing all protocol of COVID-19. Well, this, like I said, really made them feel very happy. And they, their parents were also happy too. And not only that, it created a venue for the school to have stream B uh, and this stream of income. So just watch the video and see for yourself.
Does give us a minute. We are having some technical issues over here. Let me know what I see in the screen. And you see the screen.
Yeah, this is a brilliant idea because as one added put it, an idle brain is the devil's workshop. So this uh, opportunity provided the children and my the people in my community the opportunity to be happy during the lockdown and also have the desire to develop the desire to go back to the classroom after the lockdown. And most importantly, generate funds for the school who had no money during the lockdown. And not only that, the children that participated in showcasing uh, their expertise or their skills in this movie were also awarded scholarship through what we realized from the movie. I mean, the funds we realized from the movie. So that really was nice. So this is our expertise, my expertise, that we want other schools to copy whenever in adversity like this or in difficult times like this, they should look for a way out. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for that amazing um, speech. So, um, but looking uh, at the chat, we noticed that um, some people are saying that they didn't hear our video, they didn't hear the audio. Please, we are sorry for this because we experienced some technical issues this morning. But um, I would like everyone to move on YouTube, go and search for Best Intellectual Model School. You will listen to the audio of the video we just uh, showed, the music video we just played now. So just go on YouTube, search for Best Intellectual Model School, and you will be able to watch this video. Thank you so much. So next on our program will be to invite our second speaker, that is um, Wisdom, but I guess Wisdom is not in the it's not in the core yet. It's also expressing some technical issues. But we'll be, we'll be moving over to call uh, to interview um, our second, our third speaker, Mrs. Joy Carlo. Mrs. Joy Carlo. She is the founder and CEO of Tony Lighters Enterprise. And she has been um, an amazing person. So let's just hear from her. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be here. This show is very, very okay. So I'm here to talk of um, a step or a point that, that will help us um, during times of distress. And that is um, creativity. Creativity is another step to share with other schools. Because you see, when you are creative, you will come up with um, different ideas to solve a particular problem. To be creative, um, you need to look around you to see whether you can do a particular thing using resources that are kind of um, overlooked or likely not common by people. When you bring out um, new ideas, using such resources, you are sure to do things differently, thereby giving your creativity a new look and you'll be very confident of your designs. Yes, you need to be very creative. You need to look around us, to look at things that people um, are overlooking, to look at it um, on, in different perspectives. And you'll see that our own, our own design is going to be positive and um, take a good or new look. Our head teacher um, made a song and dancing step all by herself. With all the sites you can see in the video, they are all creative works from her because she's very creative in nature and she's passionate about bringing out her new ideas for something to be very different, to take a different thing. And this does not only go. Um, this does not only affect her, it also go beyond other teachers in the school. They also copied um, her and contributed their own ideas, which made us um, achieve our goal. During the lockdown, though we are locked inside, but it was all fun. These, um, these, of course, made us know something. For sure, we need money for some certain things. We need money to do some things, but 
money is not all there is. As I said, you can look around you and you can find other things that are less costly or are not even costly at all to come up with um, or to reach your goal. So, at times, one should uh, think of things he or she could contribute to one's business that does not require money. Unfortunately, my slides are not ready. But if I should share my slides, you could see that my bullet point one shows that we need um, to be creative. We created all the songs and dance steps ourselves. That's our key takeaway, number one. And number two, uh, we work together as a team to teach us. Point three, we put our goal to serve and create a change before profit. And four, sometimes you can come up with ideas that are not capital intense, just like you can see in the video. We need to go and call uh, professional dancers how to um, dance or professional singers to teach the um, kids um, step by step how to sing or our own creative works from us. I want to move over to the second point that I want to share with um, other students and that is being ready to share one's idea um, with others. That's another step. You know, looking around us in the world today, many people like to um, hold their ideas. They like to keep their ideas to themselves, which is wrong, very bad. It can make the economy to go down, make the community not to progress. You see, when you give, you impact. And when you impact, um, you are sure that you are contributing to a particular development, either in your community or in your country or in the world as a whole. This reminds me of an ancient saying that says that there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. Mark that there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. Yes, you can agree with me that the more you share your knowledge, the more you are happy. The more you see people make impact or change or making a living or being happy from what you have shared with them, you are very sure to be satisfied. So if we are ready to rub mind with others or share knowledge with people, if you help others step up, which best intellectuals models have tried doing during the long term. So, we need to be very, very um, loving while sharing ideas. We need to be, uh, we need to be, and we will be happy if we see that um, anyone who needs help have achieved help from, from um, our own help. We render to the person. So, this I consider to be very more important than silver and gold. What are the key takeaways or the lessons? We can learn from this that we ready to share our ideas with people. Number one is we need to be willing to share ideas with others. Do not keep everything to yourself. Two, sharing ideas can help in networking and making wise decisions. Thank you, everyone. Wow, this is so so brilliant. At least we've learned that it is always good to share the knowledge we have with other people. I know that you guys over there watching us uh, have gotten a point out of this. So Boris, at this point, before we go over to the Q&A, that's your question and answer, we would also like to watch that video, the introductory video. This time around, um, we'll fix some technical uh, issues. So we would also like to watch that video before we take our first um, question from the audience watching us live.
So as this video is playing, just let us know. Um, just let us know that you are hearing what we are saying. Join Time Magazine's lead education reporter alongside global educators and advocates to explore the impacts of teaching forgiveness. I teach forgiveness because it can have a positive impact in my students' families. It helps my students thrive in the face of adversity. Students who can forgive are happier. Join us to hear from teachers and thought leaders on how and why to include forgiveness in your classroom. rise will bring widespread devastation and unprecedented extreme weather. New coronavirus cases emerge across the country. Obesity rates have more than doubled in kids. Cape Town is running out of water.
Yeah, so um, we no doubt believe that you had you had everything. You had the video, you saw the video, and we are so happy about that. Yeah. So um, now is the time for the question and answer. So this is open to the public. So all you have to do is to just to use the the chat box, ask your questions to our speakers, and we will try our best to answer. Just give um, ten, six more minutes before. So if you can't hear me, we are in the question and answer section. So if you have any question, you can drop it down at in the comment section below. Okay, so we probably noticed that probably don't have any question at this point. But as always, you can always follow us on our official um, Facebook page, Best Intellectuals, facebook.com forward slash Best Intellectuals. And also don't forget to um, make use of our official hashtag, the official hashtag of the event, World Edu Week. So, Post up on Facebook, tell people, post up on all social media handles, tell people that you attended the World Aid Week, and we will get you there. All right. So, to our speakers, do you have any other thing else to say? Yeah. Once more, everyone, thank you for joining our live event. Um, I just want to add one or two things, and that is that it, it does not take the whole world for you to make an impact. That you can also create impact or change despite any condition you see yourself. If we were able to do it, despite coming from underserved and rural community, you watching us live can also do it. So when you go home or uh, after the event, try to look for ways to implement or to uh, adopt the uh, approach we use or create your own approach so as to solve a particular problem. Thank you. And for me, I think I should repeat this. We need to come up with many ideas to make it um, and to make impact in our community. And it does not mean we need so much capital to do this. Could be capital in or less capital in or no money at all. We need to be willing to share our ideas with others. We should do not need to keep everything to ourselves. 
because there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. So thank you so much for amazing uh, speakers. So for our audience out there, here are the five steps to replicate our practice or the five key takeaway points from this event. So for everything that we've been saying so far, we notice that resilience is always a key to success. So just like business intellectual models who persevered during the time of the COVID-19 pandemic and were able to come up with a better solution that people in their community are enjoying presently. So resilience is one of the key that everyone should imitate from us. Resourcefulness is another thing. Hard work, creativity, being willing to share and other things that you might think of. So in a, in a, sum of a, in a summary, the five takeaway is resilience, resourcefulness, hard work, creativity, and being willing to share. So these are the five key takeaway points from this event. So we hope that you really, really um, get this and also imitate or copy the strategies we use to create an impact in our various communities. So thank you so much for watching this live event today. Thank you so much for attending the World Education Week that was hosted by the T4 Education. Thank you so much for being there. And to our attendees, we really, really cannot thank you enough for attending this event. Thank you so much. So in case you have any other question, feel free to drop on the chat box. But before then, we are also going to watch the last video. That is the music video that you guys see you didn't hear. And after that, we we'll end this amazing section by watching back the sponsored video as well. Give us a second. So as you are going to watch this uh, following video, please notice what is being said, how um, the kids were able to convey their ideas, what they have in their heart, and they were able to put that down in music. That's to address the current um, situation that's happening in, the, in our country. So they want to address that issue with their music video.
All right, enjoy the video. Please let us know whether you are hearing this. Just give us a second. So that was the video you just saw. So for you to, um, there are other videos on our official um, YouTube channel. So please do well to visit the official YouTube channel and watch some other videos. And as well, don't forget to follow the trending hashtag what edu week so that is the trending hashtag on social media now so um 
we are going to end this amazing section since we can't see any question on the chat and as well our one of our speakers has been having technical issues this morning and he was unable to join he would also he would have also told us um some of the things that he has prepared for us so notwithstanding we thank everyone who made that time to attend this World Education Week live event that was hosted, uh, that is hosted by the T4 Education. And we also thank the, the T4 Education for giving us this opportunity to host this event today. And also to the School Enterprise Challenge, they are also amazing people who are make, without them we wouldn't be celebrating what we are celebrating today. So a, a, a huge thank you to the School Enterprise Challenge that is an initiative of the Teacher Matter Fish Foundation. So thank you so much, everyone who attended this event. So in case of no question, we will just stream the last video, the sponsored video, and end the meeting. So still enjoy the video. Join Time Magazine's lead education reporter alongside global educators and advocates to explore the impacts of teaching forgiveness. I teach forgiveness because it can have a positive impact in my students' families. It helps my students thrive in the face of adversity. Students who can forgive are happier. Join us to hear from teachers and thought leaders on how and why to include forgiveness in your classroom.
such a rise will bring widespread devastation and unprecedented extreme weather. New coronavirus cases emerge across the country. Obesity rates have more than doubled in kids. Cape Town is running out of water. That was really amazing. So we'll be adding to this section, amazing section indeed. So because we have no um, no messages from our participants, and we notice that more people are already joining. This is seven minutes to seven people already attended, already on the call right now. So we've done so many things. But the rest assured that the recording of this live event will be made available to you, even though you miss some parts of the live event. But the recording, you will still have the recording after 30 days, within 30 days here. So thank you so much for attending today's section. Thank you so much for being here today. And we say thank you. So from me, you have a wonderful rest of your day.